box 1.0 all right it's down it is in fact complete this is the last time you will probably see this box I happen to I plan to throw this up on the internet and get as much as I can uh, most likely two grand is what I'm asking for um, we scroll in the box is in fact completed on and off switch that powers those fans independently so we have one that is pulling one that is pushing and that will keep the box nice and cool here we have monitor which is in fact monitoring the battery the ambient temperature internal to the box and all voltage characteristics both from the battery to the charge controller as well as the solar panels okay when we move over to the right hand side we have and I didn't grommet this in yet and this is again this is 1.0 box right but uh, you'll see that this is a uh, battery tender okay and if you don't want to go out and charge the box or um, you just you know want to plug it in and charge that battery up you can do so that is a 125 amp hour battery inside of that box so that means in case of a power outage when the people around you are scrambling you will be watching your TV you will be um, your uh, internet will most likely still be up the internet is not affected in the power outage just the power you will keep your modem up you will continue to surf you will do the things that you normally do on the back we see the MC4 connectors that may be a little dark for you to see uh, but these are the MC4 connectors in which you connect your solar panels positive and negative you connect your solar panels and those will then charge that battery Okay, to the rear of the device we have a 9 volt and USB in a DC capacity uh, charging Okay. Beyond that, we've got the GFCI, GCFI plug in the back, 9 volt. As well as if we pan out, what you see here is a battery disconnect, a shut off. Okay, down at the bottom, you see terminals left and right to be able to jump your car or charge your battery. Okay, um, and so this is the one auto box really if you look around on this box it has everything it doesn't this wasn't it was this was just to see if I could do it you know what I'm saying I threw everything on here it did not need this generally most people in an emergency condition would never need anything like this this is a powerful box um, the likes of which uh, the way that it is built the way that it is designed it will never need to be opened you will open this box in five years to replace the battery outside of that you will not need to open this box at all. It is 100% rock solid. The connecting boxes, these are two separate boxes, they lock into place. And after they've locked into place, you further have a, uh, a rod that you run into the box here and put a padlock on and the box cannot be entered. Okay, so that locks this box down. All right? Um, so this is a complete um, modular kit. It's probably more power than most people will need in an emergency capacity, but certainly nice to have. 125 amp hour battery in there. It is not to be opened. You don't need to. It will simply continue to work. If you need an emergency power, if you need your refrigerator to run, if you wanted to watch TV, all of those things can be done. Behind it, you see a 100 watt Renergy solar panel. That folds up into a small suitcase and it's packable, stackable, sits on top of the rigid and you roll with it. A moving power station. So now if you are a DJ, you set up your equipment keep it popping plug into the box if you do weddings plug into the box if you are a contractor you plug into the box right you starting to get it it's power power on demand sun kiss people this is our game this is our game watch what I do with this that's why that's why I did it watch what I do with this you know who gonna buy this 
Yeah, you already know. Freddie. <laughs> All right. Holla at your boy, man. It's done. 1.0. Wait to the next.